Namaste, and welcome back to our continuing journey through the Avadhuta Gita. Today we continue this profound journey with the continuation of Chapter 3. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 3, Part 2, Verse 11 My child, I am devoid of non-existence and of existence. My child, I am not devoid of unity and the absence of unity. My child, I am not devoid of mind and the absence of mind. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. It is not my ignorance that the one beyond illusion seems to be positioned in illusion. It is not my ignorance that the griefless one appears to be positioned in grief. It is not my ignorance that the greedless one appears to be positioned in greed. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. There are many, many references in scriptures to the concepts of which Dattatreya speaks in the Sabatuta Gita. The above references are inclined to get the reader started. The creeper-like growth of worldly existence is never mine. The joy of extended contentment is never mine. The bondage of ignorance is never mine. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. The activity involved in the extension of relative existence is not a modification of myself. The gloom which is the expansion of grief is not a modification of myself. The tranquility which produces one's religious merit is not a modification of mine. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. I have never any action which is the cause of regret and misery. Mine is never a mind which is the product of misery. Since egoism never is mine, I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. I am the death of the movement of the unmoving one. I am neither decision nor indecision. I am the death of sleep and wakefulness. I am neither good nor evil, neither moving nor unmoving. I am neither substance nor insubstantial. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. The self, knowable or the instrument of knowing, it is neither reason nor the one to be reasoned about. It is beyond the reach of words. I am neither mind nor intelligence. How can I speak this truth to you? I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. The supreme reality is devoid of the undivided and the divided. The supreme truth is in no way within or without. It is beyond causation. It is not attached, nor is it any substance. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. I am verily the reality, free of such blemishes as attachment. I am verily the reality, free of grief caused by the transmigratory existence. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. If there are no three planes of existence, how can there be a fourth? If there are no three times, how can there be quarters? The supreme reality is the state of the highest serenity. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. Wow, beautiful, beautiful verses. I feel we're gonna pause it at that at verse 20 today to really allow these words to permeate our being. I hope you're able to hear these verses again, to really go deeper into their underlying meaning and to allow them to settle within our being. Leave me a comment and let me know how these words made you feel and what they stirred within. I hope you're able to share this with someone who will benefit from this greatly. I look forward to seeing you on our continuing journey through the Avadhuta Gita. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.